So the JEE main question paper has been released officially. What do you think about it for this paper? So let's start with uh, the topic weightages. So uh, in my analysis, I found that there has been an equal weightage to both grade 11 and grade 12 chapters. Uh, so there were 14 questions in uh, a grade 11 out of grade 11 chapters and 16 questions out of grade 12 chapters, which is almost 50-50. But I think last one has less chapters, so more weightage for the 12th portion. Yes, indirectly more weightage for the 12th portions because uh, there are only 6 or 7 chapters and they are also easier, effectively 6 or 7 chapters and so uh, grade 12 is uh, uh, indirectly more weighted in this paper than grade 11. For example, there were 3 questions from current electricity and 3 questions from modern physics. That's 6 questions in total, one fifth of the paper from 2 chapters which are actually considered easy compared to rest of the uh, curriculum, especially compared to grade 11. So grade 12 is uh, much more heavy for the uh, for preparation. And the question paper getting easier has been continued. So I think the cutoffs for different branches will go higher in different institutes. Since the paper is getting easier, so is there any scope of making silly mistakes? Yes, yes. As we usually see with easier papers, silly mistakes are more common. So the funny coincidence I found that is in two of the papers I analyzed, 27th and 29th January. Uh, both of the papers, question 44, I identified as uh, one, one trap for a common silly mistake. So in question 44 is a gravity question where they ask the distance of an object above the surface of the earth. But as you solve the question, uh, you would get the distance of the object from the center of the earth in, in the natural way. And you might forget to subtract the radius of the earth to get the distance from the surface of the earth. That is one opportunity. Another uh, interesting question I found was question 44 in the other 29th uh, January session, where uh, a charged particle is going along a straight line uh, with constant velocity. And uh, for it to do this, what kind of fields could be present? And in the options we had E equals to 0 and B equal to 0 or E not equal to 0, B not equal to 0 and different combinations of those. So uh, we are supposed to analyze and think that it's possible that both fields are 0 obviously because the, there would be no force on the particle. It's possible that field, electric field is 0 and magnetic field is not 0 and yet there is no force on particle because as we know the magnetic field does not exert a force and it is parallel to the velocity of the particle. Also, if magnetic and electric field are both non-zero, then the forces due to magnetic and electric field might cancel out perfectly as we see in Hall effect in graduate studies. The forces might cancel out perfectly and still the particle might continue with causal velocity. So people might jump to the conclusion that force fields are zero and uh, take that option. So uh, that, that is another scope of silly mistake in a paper, although it's an easy conceptual question which wouldn't take much time at all. Yes, I agree. I also felt that class 12 portion and analytics from grade 11 are so to Yes, in fact, uh, I'm expecting that the next session is going to be similar in difficulty because they would not suddenly change the difficulty within the same year. And uh, I also feel like the heavier weight to grade 12 will be retained uh, in, uh, in the next session. Also, I feel that there might be more weightage to areas like induction and magnetostatics which are usually preferred by question paper centers but have been kind of less in this question paper compared to what we usually know. So students, all the best for the session 2 of the JE mains.